Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new map expansion video. Today, I'm going to be talking about Shenyu Vale, located in northwestern Liyue. I've covered this area in a few other videos, but with it likely coming quite soon, I decided it would be fun to talk about what we know about this area, and also my new ideas and speculations for the area. So, with all that said, let's get right into the video. Before I get into my speculations though, I'd like to talk about the lore of this area and what we know about it so far. This lore comes from the Echoes of an Offering artifact set, the weapons Sacrificial Jade and Jade Fall Splendor, Baiju's Story Quest, and more. To begin, let's start with the Tale of the Herb Lord. Long ago, an adeptus known as the Herb Lord lived on a mountain called Mount Yao Jun in Chen Yu Vale. The Herblord also had another Adeptus friend who lived here, though the name of this friend is currently unknown. Anyways, this friend would eventually plant a tree on the Herblord's mountain. Sometime later, the Herblord and her friend would both disappear, and the branches of the tree would be grafted across the river by mortals who moved into the area. These mortals came from the Chasm in southern Liyue, after a certain catastrophe forced them to leave. The exact timeline isn't clear here, but I think that this move happened around the time of the Archon War. You see, Rex Lapis was not the original god of Chenyu Vale. Not much is known about the original god at this point, but it is said that they were killed in a foreign land. After their death, Rex Lapis would take control of the area and care for the people. At this point, Chenyu Vale would officially become a part of Liyue, though it would still have its own unique culture. Part of this culture is the unique tea trees that only grow lushly in Chenyu Vale, no matter the waters, soil, or sunlight. These trees are also said to remember the promise that old friends made beside a certain tea sapling, likely referencing the herb lord, her friend, and the tree that was planted on the mountain. Now, tea isn't the only thing important to the culture of Chenyu Vale. The area is also known for a certain blue-green jade known as Yilong Jade. When the ancestors of Chenyu Vale moved north from the chasm, they brought a great jade altar with them, which could have also been made of this Yilong jade. This slab of jade would be worshipped by the people of Chenyu Vale for many years. Eventually though, demons began to covet its power of summoning sweet rains, and so the herb lord took action. She either threw the slab into a river, or broke it apart into ornaments which she then would hide. Later on, this legend would turn into a tradition in Chenyu Vale, in which the people would throw jade ornaments into the river as a sacrifice. These ornaments are made by the artisans in Yilong Port, and resemble the symbol of felicitation. Now, there is also one more bit of lore I want to cover before moving on to the locations. Of course, that lore is about Changsheng. She comes from Chenyu Vale, and was seen sitting under a tree atop Mount Yaojun. With this being the same mountain that the Herb Lord resided on, it's possible that Changshan had some connection with her. We don't know much about this connection right now, so I hope that we will learn more about it once we reach Chenyu Vale. Speaking of reaching Chenyu Vale, let's talk about where exactly this new area is located in Tevat. From various sources, we've learned that Chenyu Vale is located to the northwest of the currently explorable areas of Liyue. We also know that it borders both Fontaine and Sumeru as well, placing it in the gap that currently exists in the in-game map. As such, when this area releases, it will help fill in this empty space. Baida Harbor in Sumeru is also located somewhere within this gap, so perhaps the two areas will be released together to completely fill the space. I do hope they release together, or at least around the same time, just so we don't have a hole in the map. Now, as for the geography of Chenyu Vale, it has been described as having many mountains and rivers. These mountains of course include Mount Yaojun, where the Herb Lord once resided. Chenyu Vale is also relatively humid compared to the hills of Barsum, as stated by Julian in An Artist Adrift. Anyways, 
Within Chenyu Vale, there are also a few settlements where humans live. The first of these is Chaoying Village, which is famous around Tevat for its many kinds of tea. Tianhong Bohua and Chaoying Floral Tea are just two of the various kinds of tea that originate from this village. The village also has an annual tea serving ceremony, in which they use the wilted petals of spirits and flowers to prepare floral tea. Yelan's specialty dish, Du Dip Shrimp, also used the new dipped Du Tea from Chaoying Village in the recipe. Now, I think we may have already seen this area in game, during the cutscene in Baiju's story quest. If the village shown in this cutscene is in fact Chaoying Village, that means we can expect a quiet and peaceful town amidst mountains and waterfalls. The area may be similar to that of Chingsa Village, but with tea trees instead of terrace farms. The village could also be close to Mount Yaojun, or may even be situated at its base. Now, the other settlement within Chenyu Vale would be Yilong Port. To me, it seems likely that this port will be located across the water from Lumidos Harbor, which is a currently unreleased harbor in Fontaine that you can see in the distance. I think that we will get Lumidos Harbor first, then we will travel from the harbor to Yilong Port to reach Chenyu Vale in a later update. Of course, we would also be able to travel to Chenyu Vale from the currently released area of Liyue, closing the gap that currently exists between Liyue and Fontaine. Getting back to Yilong Port though, people from Chenyu Vale will occasionally come down to Yilong Port to worship their ancestors and the dead. As I've said, the port is also where artisans craft beautiful jade ornaments, likely out of Yilong Jade. Speaking of Yilong Jade, I think this material could become a new local specialty for Liyue when Chenyu Vale releases. Both Inazuma and Sumeru have 9 local specialties, so I think we could get one new specialty for Liyue in Chenyu Vale, and perhaps one from Mondstadt in Dormen Port. I also think that Fontaine will likely have a total of 9 local specialties by the time Natlin comes around. Moving on from the actual locations, I'd now like to talk about some potential stories we could get in Chenyu Vale. If Chenyu Vale releases in version 4.4, it would perfectly align with the next Lantern Rite event. I think that the biggest festival in Liyue would be the perfect time to introduce a new area to the region, and it could be very important to the event's story this time around. We could get a bunch of characters traveling to Chenyu Vale for different reasons during the Lantern Rite, including Baiju, who is from Chenyu Vale after all. Hu Tao could also go, either because of her rivalry with Baiju or the ceremony for the dead in Yilong Port. Zhang Li could also tag along with Hu Tao for work reasons, or perhaps he has his own Archon business in the area. There could be a ton of other characters who make appearances in the area too, including some friends from Fontaine or maybe even a new character or two. Either way, it makes me very excited for Lantern Rite. Getting back to Baiju though, I think it would be fun if we got a second activist story quest that takes place in Chenyu Vale. This quest would focus on both Baiju's past and Changsheng's past, as both come from the area. Speaking of this area's past, we could also get a new world quest series that revolves around the story of the Herblord and the massive slab of Yilong Jade. Most new locations in Genshin get at least one new world quest series, so it would make sense for Chenyu Vale to get one too. This world quest series could also give us some lore about the god who previously ruled over Chenyu Vale before they were killed. Alternatively, we could get information about this god from Zhang Li during the Lantern Rite event, as he was alive during the time of that god and may have known them. Now, for my final story idea, I think we could get a quest based around Zishuang. If you don't remember, Zhi Shuang was the adventurer from the Chasm Delvers World Quest series, who eventually traveled deep into the chasm. From this quest, we learn that she once mapped the terrain of Chaoying Village for a construction project. With this in mind, I think it is likely that some people around the village would know about her, and could tell us more about her. Even if we don't get a quest about her, we could still get bits and pieces of lore through NPC dialogue. It could also be possible that Zhi Shuang herself makes a reappearance, 
but we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, that's pretty much it for my most recent thoughts on Chenyu Vale. I've been waiting for this area for so long, so I really hope we get it sometime soon. Also, if you guys want to see more content like this, I recommend checking out my videos on expansions in the 4.x updates and Remuria. I'd love to hear what ideas you guys have for Chenyu Vale and other expansions in the comments below as well. Anyways, that's it for this video, thank you so much for watching. Sources and further readings are also in the description if you want to check them out. I hope you all have an amazing day, and I'll see you all in the next video.